Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is further and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of John chapter 2 and verse 10 and said to him, everyone else serves his best wine first and when people have drunk freely, then he serves that which is not so good, but you have kept back the good wine until now. I believe that today's word is for someone specifically. I have found that when words come the way today's words came to my heart, someone usually needs to hear the word. And so I have switched what should have been today's episode for this one. Our anchor scripture is taken from the account in John chapter 2 of Jesus' first public miracle of turning water into wine. For anyone who is not familiar with this story, Jesus, his mom and his disciples were invited for a wedding party. While the party was still on, the wine got exhausted. Apparently, this was tantamount to social suicide. It would have caused shame and great embarrassment for the host. Mary asked the servants at the party to go to Jesus and do what he, whatever he asks them to. Jesus asks the servant to fill up large jars with water, draw some of the water, and serve the guests. Even though it was an irrational command, they obeyed and served some of the water, in quote, to the chairman of the occasion. The chairman of the occasion then said the words in our scripture. Everyone else serves his best wine first, and when people have drunk freely, then he serves that which is not so good. But you have kept back the good wine until now. As I reread this scripture, it hit me suddenly that there was a reason why God had made sure this sentence made it into the Bible. You see, it was important we understood that Jesus did not just turn water into wine. He turned water into the best kind of wine possible. I will say that again. Jesus did not just take away the shame of the hosts by providing wine. No, he made sure that the wine he provided was of superior quality. God is saying to someone today, do not weep. Do not be ashamed. I will make it up to you. When that baby eventually comes, they won't just be an ordinary child. They will be exceptional. When the job eventually comes, it will be with an obvious stamp of divinity. When the breakthrough finally comes, it will be such that all will know that God did it. Jesus is the kind of God who takes the beggar out of the dunghill, but doesn't stop there. He goes further to set him amongst princes. Jesus always goes further. I want to encourage that person who this episode is for. Yes, the wine may be finished, but we have a restorer. He can restore your marriage. He can restore your children. He can restore your honor. And the beauty of the Jesus kind of restoration is that he restores with superior wine. He never leaves you the same way you were. He goes further. All I will say to you is whatever he asks you to do, please do it. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word today. Thank you so much for being the God who goes further than just restoration. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.